Hey guys, Kevin from Coupon Goods. Just want to thank you guys for purchasing our pillow. What we're going to do is go over some instructions on what to do when you first receive it, and also some tips and tricks on how to adjust it so you get the most out of it. Now when you get your pillow, it's going to be vacuum sealed, and we do this just to save on shipping costs and to reduce box sizing. When you open it, grab a pair of scissors, and just be careful that when you cut this plastic, you're not actually cutting the fabric. So, just make a little small hole. You can tear the outer cover off. Now you'll notice that the pillow is very flat and small. What we're gonna do um, is open up this inner vacuum sealed bag and remove the actual pillow. Now, uh, two ways to do this. Um, if you have a dryer at home, you can throw this in the dryer on low for about 10 minutes and it's gonna poof up to a brand new pillow. I'll show you what it should look like, as you can see right here. Now, if you don't have a dryer, uh, you can manually do this, and it's not hard. What you're gonna do is just grab some of the foam inside and start pulling it apart. It's gonna just separate the foam because it's been uh, just vacuum sealed and storage for a while. Some people uh, might notice that there's a slight smell to it, um, and what that is, is just the smell of memory foam. However, there's nothing dangerous about it. All our foam is Certipure certified, so you have nothing to worry about. Now, as you can see, um, the pillow has regained its loft. Out of the box, uh, the pillow has a lot of loft, and we've done that on purpose. Um, every person is different. We've got people that have really big frames, petite frames, uh, different weights, length uh, and shape of our head. Um, everyone is so different, and that's why uh, we designed this pillow so that you can perfectly adjust it to your perfect body. Now, um, we start off with a lot of loft because we want to make sure that um, the biggest size person is gonna be happy with this pillow. Um, and so, you know what, when you first take it out, fluff it up, and it feel, feels comfortable, go ahead and use it. If it doesn't, um, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove some of the loft to make it more comfortable right now. So as you can see, there's uh, two zippers right here. You're gonna open it up. And you can open up the inner zipper. And as you can see, um, you have access to the foam. What you're gonna do is pull some of it out. Um, I suggest you guys keep it uh, stored in a Ziploc bag or somewhere safe because uh, who knows, maybe uh, later on you're going to want uh, just a more firm pillow, more loft, or you're going to give this pill to, pillow to someone else that uh, has a different frame than you. Now, as you can see, I'm taking out a lot of foam, and um, you're going to need to take a decent amount out, and you're going to have to do some testing because everyone's different, and I'm going to show you what works for me, but everyone is going to find their little sweet zone as they experiment. Now I'm gonna zip this back up. Now we're gonna just re-fluff it up to redistribute uh, the evenness of the foam. And now we got something good to work with. So, uh, depending if you're a, a back sleeper, a stomach sleeper, or a side sleeper, uh, you need different lofts. Um, so for a stomach sleeper, you tend to want something really low so it doesn't really stress out your back when you're sleeping on your stomach. A back sleeper, you want something low to medium, and a side sleeper, you want something medium to high. Now, the cool thing with this pillow is you can kind of uh, shape it. It's uh, the shredded property of it kind of allows you to create indentations and uh, add support in certain areas to really just custom fit your head. So I'm gonna just show you one example of how you can do this. Um, so what I'm gonna do is gonna kind of create a area for your head to kind of sink in. So you're gonna kind of just grab the foam and it's kind of knead it to the sides. Now I'm leaving this section because this is where the neck's gonna be. But over here, I'm just kind of pushing it ar around and creating a little indent while leaving this. So this will support uh, your neck and now you have a lower area to support your head. And you can adjust uh, how much foam stays there. Um, if you want more, you just, you know, you put some more back in and you just kind of experiment. But now, as you can see, there's a nice indent right here for your head. 
yet at the same time on this side, there's still support for your neck. So you can shape this however way you want. Um, and all you gotta do is kind of just flip it back up. And now you got a new canvas to work with. I'm gonna show you something cool because I'm actually a side sleeper slash uh, back sleeper. Um, I like to actually zone out uh, two different areas of my pillow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this side lower uh, for when I'm sleeping on my back. And then during the night, when I roll over to my side, this side's gonna have more support and be higher so that I'm always having uh, the proper support, uh, supporting spinal alignment. Um, and to do that, I'm just gonna knead the foam to the bottom section. So half the pillow is gonna just have um, greater support and it's gonna have higher loft. And already you can see this top section is a lot thinner and this bottom section is a lot thicker. So kind of using my arm to show the division. Um, this will be my side sleeping side and this will be my back sleeping side. So literally I'm sleeping on my back and during the night I roll over and onto this side, I'm gonna have a lot more support. So as you can see, I'm pushing down with the same force. So that's just one ex another example of how you can zone out the pillow. Um, Everyone's different. I really encourage you guys to just really experiment, uh, make the perfect fit for you guys. And if you guys have some cool ideas, let us know. If this pillow does not have enough fill, we actually do sell extra fill, um, which we don't think most people will need. But if you really want a really super uh, filled pillow, you can buy more foam on our website. If you have any questions, let us know. And thanks for watching.